This World Year season has been a tough one. We have tried it all. <laughs> On this episode, we share the last week of our season, when we thought everything was over. <laughs> we finally find some luck. Qué guapo, tío. We have made it all the way to the end of June with very, very few encounters. Frustration and anxiety are building up as we approach the last week of our hunting season in our new area. We feel that we may eat our tags for the first time in many, many seasons. It is a complicated time of the year to hunt roe deer. Crops are high and there is a lot of fresh food inside the forest. Those have recently gave birth to their phones and those show themselves much. The summer is approaching and temperatures are high and days are long, really long. All this limits the deer activity and it's hard to see them. But you need to keep playing the game and hope that something that you do tilts the balance. He's filming today and he has never hunted in his life, so it's super cool to be able to see something that close. This is the first time I see a, a corzo, a roger, so close to me. It has been amazing. Very, very nice, man.
There are many factors to consider when leasing a new hunting ground. Some areas have great quality of trophies, other great quantities of animals. They can have beautiful landscape or a rough hunting terrain. They can also have very little or a lot of hunting pressure. Some are expensive and others are less expensive. You have to decide your priorities as none of them have everything. Today we have decided to control a lot of area, try to locate new new animals and we have a buck located that we have spotted for a couple of days now that we are a little bit confused, we are not sure if it's old or young. We're going to put some footage, we'd love to hear your feedback, what do you guys think? There are animals that are very hard to judge and according to the trophy size it looks like a really young buck but if you look into the neck, the head, the shape, the behavior it looks like a mature animal, not super old, but like something mature, maybe three years or four, with really bad genetics. So management-wise, it's an animal that we should definitely take, but I'm not sure if I'm going to make a mistake. So that's part of hunting, I guess. For me, my priority, honestly, is that it's close to home. Road deer is the way I evade myself from the city or a busy day. If it's close, I can go any afternoon or just wake up early and hunt for a few hours in the morning and get back to the office or my family. I know I don't hunt in a good hunting ground, but for me, it's the best. Sixty 
Jesus. Qué guapo, tío. Guau, qué adrenalina. Fuck, I'm shaking. Like we, this is a pack that we spotted uh, last week. It's a really small pack, but it looks like a mature animal, so perfect management animal. Sometimes we focus on really big animals, but uh, I think this is the right pack to, that it was the right pack to take. We'll figure that this out now. He came uh, along the riverbed and it offered me a 30 meter shot, maybe less, I don't know, but First shot felt great, he came, solid hit, he was about to expire, so I saw the second one, but it only ran 50 meters, expired in less than a minute, so that's what the beauty of bow hunting. So today is almost, tomorrow is the last day of the season, so I can't believe it worked out like this. Think about it. Boom! Oh, what a Qué guapo, dude. Here we have the arrow. It was a frontal shot and the arrow completely went through. This Victory VAP, it says like the, the penetration this arrow have is just unreal. Complete penetration, pass through. And let's, it's right there, so let's, let's go. Nice bug, we'll have to check the teeth. I don't think it's an old bug, but it's not also like a one year old uh, bug. So definitely not the best genetics, it's still great animal to harvest in terms of management and it will be good eating. So yeah, super stoked. It has been a hell of a season working for these, for these guys, so. Showing this hunt with family and friends is unique, way above the size of any trophies. Those type of friends that you know that they are truly happy of your success, sometimes even more than if you would have been their own. It's as fresh as you can find. This is the roebuck that we just harvested a couple of hours ago. We just finished processing all the meat and I think the trophy part or the management doesn't have to take us away from the real experience that we had to chase the animal to learn, to try to predict what's gonna do, all the emotions around the hunt and to harvest clean organic meat that we're gonna try, we're gonna eat, we're gonna share with the family and that's what hunting is all about. So, yeah, forget about the trophy and keep enjoying hunting. Nice. <laughs> this season is over, but looking forward to chase again Robux next spring.